I'm Michael Bodine. I'm from uh, Surprise, Arizona. I did the Doctorate of Health Science. It was wonderful, partly because there was there been so much support. Dr. Goldstein, Dr. Jeff Alexander, phenomenal faculty. I mean, it's like you're not alone with your efforts and your work and um, they've just been extremely supportive. To be honest with you, Dr. Goldstein talked me into it. It took a long time too, because I was really resistant about online education. I was more, let's go the traditional route. And um, it, it just so that reluctance and it took, I mean, he and I, I mean, he used to come over to the university that uh, I was been teaching at and he just over a period of time, I mean, he was just so, uh, engaging with that so I think that's primarily and said okay I'm gonna give it a shot well giving it a shot turned out to be really more than I thought right I mean the quality of, of the education that I've received I would say is outstanding and I've I've been to medical school and I've been to chiropractic and this is a good I wish that all medical students would have an element of what is given in this program because it would widen their world a lot more and make them think a little bit differently. I was uh, been running an anatomy lab and it, I was doing that as extracurricular um, kind of activities that it wasn't just dissection and anatomy but it was uh, basically to the undergrad population and it was to, for example, some of the stuff that we've learned uh, about, uh, I would already be integrating into the undergrad population. You see, as far as that experience that was built into this program. And so this ongoing effort of trying to um, limit iatrogenic um, mistakes, medical mistakes, is a big one that if we could teach our youngsters going in through their own pre-medical education to start thinking in terms of that, Reason Swiss cheese model. We could go on and on with uh, the what's taught here is now being embedded in that population and hopefully it will have a domino effect that goes beyond me, you know? So if once they graduate, maybe I've had a small chance of, of affecting their lives to start thinking more in a wider perspective. You know, uh, as, as they approach, so the mechanistic part of medicine doesn't become their, I don't know, fingerprint, more the humanity part of medicine. So in the future, the, the good that I've learned here is I'd like to, I'm developing a, a medical simulator business on the side, right? And incorporating education into that and hopefully making it to where we can extend uh, uh, anatomical models to underserved areas, for example, high schools that can't afford the kind of models that are, I mean, they're expensive. We want to be able to provide that along with the medical uh, world, the simulator models um, we can do a lot with. So that's one area that I want to go into and continue the teaching that I've been doing.